But what if Counter-Strike small? We played a game of competitive Counter-Strike where everyone was very, very big. Here's what happened. I oh, hit you 96 <laughs> and 4, man. No! I'm laughing too hard, I can't control. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> that was so stupid. Greetings, hi, the War Owl greets you. The maps we're playing were made by Poofy on the workshop. Strange that we were playing on mini maps when there's no mini map. Sometimes it takes minimal effort to make something fun, because what's truly important is the idea. They actually vent dive? One. How are you up there? One. Oh! 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 I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it, this improves it. This improves the map. I love this map. <laughs> Somehow, T-Dan already had pop flash lineups, and because of the Tech 9s perfect one-shot running accuracy, a $500 pistol joined the meta. With extremely close range angles and extremely fast rotates, the Tech 9 shotguns and tasers dominated. Oh, 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 it Ooh. oh my god, I found a spot. That was in the original nuke. Oh, he doesn't know about it. The passageways were so narrow, it was a single file line, which meant if you stopped, everybody was screwed. Uh, traffic jam, traffic jam, uh, traffic jam, <laughs> traffic jam. <laughs> traffic jam. No, no. I can't move, I got people on either side of me. What is happening? Can you boost me? I don't know where I am! <laughs> Stay right there. Don't. HP. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, wow, wow. Oh, the DPU, yes. wow <laughs> see, that was next level. <laughs> that, that was next level, dude. We had a good thing going, but then the inevitable happened. Damn it, Jello. You've ruined it. You've ruined it with the Negevs. <laughs> what is. Ugh. Everyone was having fun. Everyone was having fun, and then you brought out the Negevs. <laughs> wow. yeah, no. 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 What would happen if we combined the one in the chamber mod from last video with these mini maps? Probably the most fun I've had in Counter Strike in a long time. But maybe that's just because I kicked ass at it. Oh my gosh. Um, uh. cure. Oh my gosh. Here, duck, duck. Cop, cop cat, duck. Back in the game. Improvise, adapt, overcome. I love how that body just fell right next to me. That was hilarious. This recording session oh. happened after we recorded a different video and decided to just play some Counter Strike for fun. We started goofing around in the mini maps, but because Counter Strike gamers are Counter Strike gamers, it got way too try hard, and we started playing 5v5 competitive. Here's what happened once we started taking it seriously. <laughs> Alright, this is like serious, guys. We need to win this. Super serious. Okay, right, so listen, I'm gonna play A. Angel T Dan play B. I'll play uh, Arch. They gotta line up with an HG. I'm gonna play B. Bro, how do you have a lineup already? What the hell? Okay, yeah. just for first round, then rotate back. Oh, gosh darn it. <laughs> I went up another. That was us. Oh. I, I just in the smoke! Because it took less than five seconds to get from one bomb site to the other, we reduced the round time to 45 seconds. This unfortunately made utility extremely overpowered. You fix one issue, you make another. Maybe Counter Strike maps aren't supposed to be tiny. Like this corner, just like throw it over. They get to mid before us. Like they get to top mid before us. Damn. What was interesting about this game mode was the map layout and relative timings were the same, meaning our brains still thought about the different positions the same way, just in hyperspeed. Call that an enemy is pushing banana, and by the time you finish, they could be all the way in apps. This meant the best strat was to just keep moving. The longer you lingered, the higher probability someone was going to flank you, and the higher probability you'd block a teammate. The rotates were faster than you could possibly communicate them. 
pure chaos. Oddly enough, the game felt easier the smaller it was. Because people were so close, your shots pretty much always hit. It felt more like a mainstream arcade game where the hitboxes are a lot more generous. Got me thinking about game design. A smaller map like this, combined with the mechanics of Counter-Strike, the low time to kill, make the gameplay extremely fast-paced and fun. You never felt like you were losing interest. In a majority of FPS games, the majority of the time is spent either holding an angle and waiting, or walking from point A to point B. For the modern Zoomer TikTok ADHD mindset, maybe a game more in this fast-paced style would be more successful. Bite-sized pieces of gameplay that never gave you a chance to lose interest, the gameplay equivalent of a Mr. Beast video. I'm not saying it would be a good game or one that I would play, it's just that I think it would probably be very successful. Funny to me how big is bigger than normal things. One of the things I enjoy most about Counter-Strike that was completely missing in this is the buildup of tension. You spend most of the time positioning, trying to get more information, put yourself in a better situation for when the shooty shoot shoots finally begin. This buildup makes the actual bang bang stuff far more satisfying. It ensures that the better player wins. But it's not as slow as a milsim game, which I get very bored with, or as shallow as hiding in a bush in a BR, which is just infuriating, to be fair. Counter-Strike is the ultimate team strategy game. It has the perfect pacing. But sometimes, it's fun to just run around and click on things. And by the way, it's true what they say. Small maps small video. Thank you folks for much for watching. I'm the world and I still have no closer. 1v1. I hit, I hit, I hit. Bottom frag versus top frag.